This is Internet Business Mastery, Episode 79. In a world where bosses control your life and thoughts of escape fill your mind, where inspiration seems dead and cynicism rules the masses, you have a desire to break free. You feel the need to take control. Now, there exists a place where the secrets of freedom and wealth are given to those who believe. InternetBusinessMastery.com Free your mind. Hello and welcome to Internet Business Mastery Online at InternetBusinessMastery.com. I'm Sterling. And I'm Jay. And we're here to help you escape the 9 to 5 and live the lifestyle of your dreams by turning your life's passion into a profitable internet business, even if you're just getting started today. Now, in this episode of Internet Business Mastery, we have an internet business success story with Matt Archambeau, who runs an incredibly successful membership site on how to draw. We'd like to also remind you that if you'd like to get a jump start on creating your own profitable internet business, Using our proven system, you can claim your risk-free trial membership to the Internet Business Mastery Academy by going to freeaudiogift.com. So what's been going on, Jay? Well, um, I've been in the process of, of firing someone <laughs> for us recently. Uh, always it's a, about time. Always a fun experience. <laughs> um, I mean, I, you know, we talk about the wonders of outsourcing, but, it, you know, it's true that this whole uh, hiring of people comes along with firing people sometimes as well. And that's a lesson that we've been learning. Sometimes things change. Sometimes things don't work out. Uh, you know, whatever the case uh <laughs> whatever the case may be in our in our case we just felt like uh the work wasn't being done like it should or as fast as it should and uh, probably and sometimes not being done at all was the sense we were getting so anyway i, I mean yeah this uh, this year tr truth be told this year with all the full-time you know outsourcing and freelancers that we've been bringing on it's the first experience that I've really had as a, a quote unquote employer or, you know, really managing a, a whole bunch of people. And uh, that's part of the territory. So there's a bit of a learning curve there. And, and one thing I'm learning is that uh, you got to be ready to, to fire fast. I mean, in, in some cases, in fact, somebody from our platinum group, I was chatting with them, uh, instant message on, on the site. Uh, the other day, it was uh, Sunday Shields, and she was asking, Hey, have you ever had to fire someone? I said, well, we have, you know, before and actually I'm about to have to do it again. Um, and she said, well, how long do you wait? And, you know, things like that. And I said, well, the truth, the truth of the matter is I've probably waited about a month longer than we should on this case. I mean, my, yeah, my yeah. personality is that I want to give people the, the benefit of the doubt, give them another chance. And, uh, you know, I, I guess the few lessons to share here is, is, yes, you do want to tell somebody when they're not doing something right, give them a chance to fix it, tell them, you know, it's like, look, this is not being done right. This is not being done fast enough. Um, in this case, we were, you know, one thing is we were not getting the daily emails. And I probably told them 10 times that, you know, you have to send me the daily emails or else, uh, you know, I'm going to assume you're not working. Um, and so, you know, that, that, that's just the beginning. But, um, you know, if your gut is telling you something's not right, then, you know, you should probably listen. And, and it's it's tricky. I mean, obviously, we're working with people who are on the other side of the globe. And in, in some respects, there's a trust factor. We do want them to send those daily emails. And we obviously, we see the output. And, and so I just said, you know, I told her, I mean, look, if you're getting the daily emails and things look like they're taking longer than they should, or if the output is just not congruent with the amount of time spent, or that was another thing, you know, it'd been a few weeks and it's like just not enough had actually been done. You know, and, and if it's taking longer, I want to see a justification as to why I want them to explain well here's why it's taking so long and not you know we're not getting that either so um i think the reason i waited too long or that we waited too long is just you know the the thought of having to go and hire somebody else it's a process and then obviously it's a new variable in your business but uh you know i'd rather have to go through that process than get you know four five six weeks down the road here and, and now regret that it's like wow you know all the stuff that we'd hoped would happen has not happened stuff that we were planning yeah. on so I, I think what I told her is that, you know, I think the trick is just to get really good at hiring people fast um, and just get that process done, down, have a procedure for it so that, you know, uh, on a moment's notice, it's like, look, you know, here's the procedure. I know I can go in there, fire this person and hire somebody else within a matter of a few hours if I needed to and, and just, you know, make that happen. Um, you know, and a couple things there is obviously you need to change passwords and things before you, you, you let somebody go, which is uh, something I handed over to another virtual assistant and said, hey, can you go ch change all these passwords? 
passwords and let me know when that's done. And by the way, really quickly, to Dan, our editor, and Jennifer, the person who transcribes the episode, it's not you. We love you. You rock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, any of the freelancers that are actually <laughs> listening to this episode, um, it's not you. <laughs> <laughs> well, our editor and transcription person does it for sure, so uh, we definitely want them to know it's not you. Can you, you. imagine? They're like transcribing every awesome. word of this, and they're like, um, should I stop tra- <laughs> transcribing <laughs> yeah. right now? Uh, am I going to get nice. paid for this? Yeah, that, that's a good <laughs> that's a good point there to make. Interestingly enough, change the passwords. And I already mentioned this to you this morning. It's been two days since I changed the password, and I've not heard from him saying, "Hey, what's going on? I can't get into the site." So that tells you something yeah, right bad there, sign. right? Not a good sign. Um, anyway, so for anybody listening to this going, wow, okay, yeah, uh, what if I run into that? How do I hire and fire fast? Um, we are going to put some procedure lists very soon in the academy about this whole process of hiring and firing so that you have those to reference. What should I do when it comes time? Yeah, you can actually see our exact, the procedure list that was de- we developed to, to make sure this is a uh, fast process and and so that we don't freaking wait we can just say okay this isn't working out and not have to worry about oh this is going to take a couple of weeks to find another person and wh- what do i do i can't remember now uh we just you know have this procedure list that makes it very easy so uh you know yeah there'll be emails and and uh, procedures and all the all the stuff there so academy members be watching for that we figured you know if we've been telling you this whole time outsource outsource freelancers get it off your plate um, you know, we, we better prepare you for the other inevitabilities that come along with being a manager and a quote unquote employer as, as well. So we will uh, definitely get that stuff posted. So that's that's what's been uh, on my mind lately. And um, I guess it's a bit of a report for you, too, since I've been handling that stuff as of late. Yeah. And, you know, just to, just as a, a note to people, if uh, you want to even learn how to use a virtual assistant, how to hire and all that stuff, the basics. I mean, this is after you've already hired somebody and and uh, you might need to let them go. But uh, if you want to learn the basics, you can go to getreplacemyself.com. That's actually what skyrocketed a lot of our uh, abilities to find the right people. So, and, and one of the, and in fact, exactly, that's what our procedure list points you to. And, and one of the things that is the most valuable that you get with your membership to getreplacemyself.com is you get access to the database of people in the Philippines with resumes and things. And it's actually a database if you're in the States um, and in some other countries, but I know especially the States, they, they actually don't, they are, aren't, they are not accepting new uh, accounts um, for people in the States. So that's the only yeah. way you'd be able to access this database altogether. Um, so yeah, that's a good point. You had to get replace myself.com for that. So this episode is an awesome interview. So again, no quick tip and announcements at the end because these interviews tend to go a little longer because we pack a, we try to pack a lot of good stuff uh, in there. But uh, excited about that. We did this uh, interview yesterday. And so we'll be playing that uh, here on the episode. Really excited about the stuff we have for you. So let's go ahead and uh, dive right into that. And now the feature segment. Hello, everyone, and welcome to this special interview. It's Internet Business Success Story with a longtime Internet Business Mastery listener and a community member, uh, an old coaching student, as well as a member of the Academy. I'm Jay. And I'm Sterling. And on the call with us today is Matt. And Matt, we are going to have to let you say your last name for <laughs> us because I don't even, you know, I'm not sure yes. where to go with that one. Uh, well, I say it a different way every day myself, but we're going to go with our Shambo today. All so, right. I mean, that's, I could have said it with a, that's a French name, right? Yeah, it's French Canadian name. Um, you can say it with that je ne sais quoi, but we'll go with our Shambo. If I would said it the way that I thought I would have added the whole, because I speak French, I would have added the whole French <laughs> accent on it, but then everybody would have thought I was being pretentious <laughs> or something. So they... No, no, no. <laughs> no, I, I hear you. Matt is perfect. All right. Awesome. Well, thanks for joining us on the call. And uh, we just wanted, I know you've been up to lots of really cool stuff, so we wanted to bring you on here. I, I'm just going to tell the audience a little bit about you. Uh, Matt graduated from the School of Visual Arts in 1990. He struggled for many years on his path to becoming a freelance illustrator. And after years of seeking answers on how to earn a living as an artist, he finally reached his goal of becoming a successful book illustrator. So that's very cool. I know uh, people who wish uh, they, they could make a living doing that. Over his 17-year career, Matt has illustrated hundreds of book covers for many diverse publishing companies, along with running drawingtutorialsonline.com and mattsillustration.com. Matt is also an adjunct instructor at the School of Visual Arts in Manhattan. Yay! for New York. I'm a big fan of New York, as we all know. Matt is considered a trusted advisor and coach to many students, teaching them 